Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Ecliptic Spiritualist channel. Welcome to this wonderful ritual and the full moon heading on February the 16th. Check your local listing in your area. Welcome. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're a friend of the channel, welcome back. North Node family, love you. Always here supporting the channel. But you can support the channel too by hitting subscribe, hitting on notifications, and watching us on a regular basis to bring what you need in your life so that that way you're regulating and filling up your cup. All right? So we're doing a full moon ritual, love, attract, honey, invoke. Now, I do have a couple of supplies that I'm going to be showing you. There's a couple of things that I'm not going to bring because I want you to pick your own and that for purpose of, purposes of what type of honey and things that's here Use your imagination and use what you may have in already your cupboards or have to purchase. But we want to keep it simple, Sally, not nothing difficult, but get the job done. That's what rituals are all about. Rituals are to support what you're doing with this full moon or any other time you have a ritual. Okay, you can do a ritual if you in this your first time doing a ritual, season ritualist. Wherever you are, it's something to enjoy and, and adjacent itself with the full moon, okay? So this ritual is inspired by the hoodoo tradition and the love of a witch vibration to summons love. Now, this particular ritual that you'll be doing is hoodoo tradition. A um, couple of other traditions, you know, if you're a person that like rituals, like goddesses, Everybody have what is their gifts or what they gravitate to, but you can always try something along with what your practice is, or if you knew to see how you like it, bring it in for a long enough time so that that way you become good at doing things and see if that's going to be part of your spiritual practice. Now, you'll be invoking uh, for love, whether it is in the form of a new partner or to improve your existing uh, relationship, partnership, or union. It is best not to focus on securing love of someone who's already taken. That's not what this particular ritual is about. Um, if you're seeking a new love, first write exactly what you want to experience with this individual in the relationship and what kind of person, what kind of partner you would like to have in your life. Make sure as you're writing this that you have done work on yourself as well so your frequency is matching the same frequency that you want to bring in. What's put out comes back. Okay? So you might want to write something like they put me in the center of their world. Something of that nature. Avoid statements such as they're not an alcoholic and not abuse me. You focus in on the positive of things okay and you're drawing your energy for the positive keep in mind that when you're doing work you have done work to attract this person to bring that same frequency in which you desire like attracts like always know that okay so take some time with this thinking about your words making sure they're in a positive direction you make sure that your words is full of emotions okay and you want to make sure because you don't want to attract the wrong person you know, you don't want to try a duplicate of something that you've already been doing, okay? Uh, so focus on how you want to feel in, in the relationship as well or to improve your current partnership. Write down how you like to look and feel, okay? Look and feel, all right? Now, um, if you take time for the channel, uh, you will see there's already a video up for the full moon in Leo and it's talking about... Um, the release with this. So you want to take a look at that because I have a burning ritual that's there to release. And whenever I'm burning or doing something with fire, I do a lot of fire work, I always have my hair pent back. Even when I'm doing ritual, that's just my thing. Doesn't mean you have to do it. But lots of times you'll see that my hair is always pulled back or sleeved all the way back for protection. You know, a seasoned practitioner, you want to be lit on fire, right? So you want to make sure that you're using common sense, all right? And safety first at the same time. So you're going to need a couple of things. Uh, you're going to need a round mirror. It could be big or it can be um, small, whatever you have to hold small candles, okay? You want to have some jasmine oil if you like. Uh, you, If you don't have access to jasmine oil, you can use lavender oil or even a rose oil that you can get a hold of, 
okay? Also, you want to have some high-quality honey. I did not bring any honey to present because I want you to be able to use your own imagination. I'm your spirit guide here sharing about a ritual, so use your imagination. Use what you can purchase. Whatever you can purchase will be good. It is a offering, okay? So if it's from a, uh, a high-end quality or if it's what you can do at that time, Trust and believe what you can do at that time is a true offering from the heart, okay? So it's all about where the heart is, okay? So if it's whatever you can get, you do that because it's coming from your heart, all right? Don't get stuck on that, okay? You want to make sure that you have your statement of intent written on a piece of paper. I'm always going to suggest that write it on, you know, some parchment paper, brown paper, our child's paper that we offer on our site, or brown paper, whatever you have, plain white paper. Make sure you use what you got. Don't make something more difficult than what it is. You want to make sure that you also, you have um, five nickels. If you're here in the States, uh, use five nickels, okay? Or you can use wherever you are in the universe, um, in this world, use what represents a nickel in your location because we service people all over the globe and you work with what you have, what a nickel stands for in your home country, okay? You want to have some red rose petals. As you can see, I have a rose here, okay? And I'll be using some um, petals, okay? So you want to have some red rose petals, all right? Let me give you an option. Even though this the steps is all written on the blog and it is up on the website at https double colon slash slash ecliptic spiritualist 7.com. I'm not offering an altar visual this full moon. However, if for some reason you cannot get a hold of red roses, I'm just giving you that as an option. You can use a sunflower if you like, because you're going to be working with goddess Ashun. You can use a run a, a yellow sunflower or whatever you have access to. Improvise. A good practitioner uses what they got to get what they want. Okay? So don't get stuck on that, but I'm strongly suggesting the red rose. Those that are seasoned here, that are advanced practitioners and can easily get access to those things, North Node Tribe, you know you're responsible for getting with what you have because you are practitioners. Those that are beginning that are here, use what you got. But if you can access what I'm saying, go right ahead. Don't stress, okay? It's to bring what you want into your life because it's all about your mindset and your offering from your heart to the divine, okay? You want to also, to have five white candles. Now, I'm saying I'm using tea light candles. These are small. They're you know, you can use that. You can use white because you're going to put it along the lining of your mirror. Give you an example. Okay. Or you, if you have access because it's Oshun, the goddess Oshun, or if you don't work with her or want, don't want to invoke her, you can use whatever goddess you're using. It could be goddess Bridget. She's the goddess of this season right now. So you can use her or use who you have a connection with who you work with. If not, just use God, the universe, the source, you know, the vertical uh, connection, the divine infinite. Yeah, you can do that as well. Don't make this complicated. These are my suggestions, okay? So also, instead, if you don't have white, and you, and if you can get orange, by all means, get five small tea light candles, okay? A good time to collect candles, such as those is during... Um, San Juan or Samhain, uh, Hall Halloween season and Christmas time because there's so many different variations of colors of candles and they be on sale. So that's a way to start collecting things to add to your altar, okay? So you want to do this ritual actually on a Friday night. Even though the full moon in the northern hemisphere is coming in on a Wednesday, but we're going to be closed. Friday night is as the closing of the waxing full moon as possible. Friday is the sacred to Oshun or your goddess of choice. So we're not going to do it on the actual day of the full moon. You got within 72 hours, preferably on Friday because that's Oshun's day. Now, if you're here and you're familiar with Oshun and you feel it is a different day or something, you know, you can uh, do as you please as you guide it. I'm giving a suggestion. 
okay? You want to set the mirror on an altar. Your altar can be outside or indoors. You're going to anoint it with the jasmine or sandalwood oil, okay? I have jasmine oil, jasmine oil here. I do have sandalwood oil as well, but I'm spotlighting jasmine, okay? Or And you want to anoint it with honey, the honey of your choice and what you have, okay? Don't make this complicated. On the top of that, the folded up paper <clears throat> on which you've written what you desire, you may need to tape it together to keep it flat. Again, the instructions here are on the blog, okay? Put the five nickels on top of that. Five is Oshun's number. And add the rose petals. So you're going to put the nickels there and then you're going to add the rose petals. So again, the directions is on the blog. HTTPS double colon slash slash ecliptic spiritualist 7.com. You can find it in the description box down below. Place the candles around the mirror as you light them. Call on Oshun's name or invoking her energy or whatever goddess that you work with. Or plainly just a divine infinite, the creator, the universe, the source. Whatever way you feel comfortable because it's your work, your altar, and your results, okay? Then you want to go outside and set the mirror with candles under the full moon. You go into the waxing moon, which is on Friday. This is why you need to know and understand the nine phases. Check us out here on Thursdays at 9.15. We're going to be talking about how important it is to work with the lunar cycles. Now, um, what you want to do is make sure it's secure and protected from the elements, okay? If for some reason your area is cold, full of snow, something like that, put it either in your indoor altar, in your home, or put it on the win window seal, okay? You want to always make sure it's safe. But if you can get outdoors and it's cold and you're doing the thing, just do the thing. You know, take it all the way if you can. It is your altar. Sometimes you have to just press forward, you know, to do what you desire. Don't get caught up in what's going on as far as the elements outdoors, okay? So you're going to go outside, set the mirror with the candles under the full moon. Make sure it's secure and protected from the elements. Raise your arms and draw down Luna's power, which is Luna is the moon, okay? Full moon, and she's under Leo influence. Luna's power until you feel her magic tingling in your veins. What you're doing is bringing down that... Um, illuminating your body with her bright light, which is when she's blooming. So you'll get that illumination all over you, okay? And nevertheless, I want to make sure that I didn't forget something as well. Um, you want to make sure that you're hearing the tingling in, in the veins, and then you affirm magic forces now conspire to send me my heart's desire, okay? Once the candles completely burn down, dig a hole, bury everything, but, but the mirror, okay? Pour the jar of spring water over it. So what you're going to do is pour some water over that. So you got to make sure that you got water present, okay? Uh, I know I'm going to get the question, does it matter what type of water? I'm suggesting spring water, but whatever you have available, work with what you got, okay? Work with what you got. Then give a, a shoe some time to attend to your request. Allow time for her to work through what you've done with your magical practice. One of the most important things is when you're doing ritual work, if you ask me to do spiritual work, allow time. You know, if everything is not a microwave minute. It doesn't work like things. Things have to set in, soak into the universe, and come up. Mm -hmm. And come up. It's very important to have patience. Okay? Part of being a practitioner is patience. Something you want to learn in 2022, if you didn't get in 2020, if you now becoming awake or re-putting yourself back in position, learn a good batch of patience. It will change your life. Okay, it will change your life. So, in saying that, check it out on the blog. It's in full writing and description on what to do with this beautiful ritual. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe the videos here. Um, it's lovely to be able to bring this wonderful full moon ritual to you. Take time to do it. Take time to share with someone else something that they can be doing with the full moon. It enhances you. When you give, it's giving back to you. Okay? It never leaves your life. It goes into your future and it, and it multiplies. So, 
Don't forget that I offer psychic readings, personal personal psychic readings. You can schedule an appointment with me on my website, along with I do counseling sessions. I counsel many. I'm a certified counselor for over 30 years, along with I offer diagnostic consultations. I counsel in many areas that people need better help in their life to have someone that they can hear, hear them, and then get, offer some good guided certified counseling advice that will enhance their life if they appropriate it and do the work. But spirit does show up in the counseling sessions because I'm also able to channel and hear, along with the psychic readings as well. I offer master classes every Saturday. Uh, we're in the process of one now. It's very great. It'd be wonderful for you to be there, along with joining Patreon. It helps support the channel, and it also helps support you on your spiritual journey. You're not alone. You learn a lot of information there, and it's ready available available with you joining with the North Node community and having support. Okay? So, if I, I know I've covered everything, so have a wonderful full moon. Love attract honey invocation invocation for this Leo full moon. Make sure that you uh, sign up as well on our website so that we can send you information that goes out on a daily basis that will help you as well. And uh, let me not forget, I do do spell work personally. Those are spiritual rituals, uh, spell work rituals that I do, okay? I will see you next time. Have a wonderful full moon in Leo and let the love be attracted and invoked in your life, whatever way you want it spoken into you and then showing up into the universe. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you later. Bye-bye.